Hi, I'm Lisa from asewinglife.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this tabletop ironing board. It's really, really useful. I use mine all the time. So let's get into it and I'll show you how to make it. I've got a piece of MDF here. Um, my dad has actually very kindly provided me with this. Um, so you can see here, it's a piece of MDF in the middle and then he's actually sandwiched it with um, foam either side. So the foam one side is going to be great because it will cushion the, um, the things that are going to go on top and it will just make it feel much softer. And then the foam on the other side is going to be handy because it will stop it moving around when it's on the table. So that's what I've got on the inside. It's quite, it's fairly lightweight as well. It's not heavy. So I've actually made this um, 40 centimetres by 60 centimetres. Um, so 40 by 60 and that is 16 by 23 and a half inches. So obviously you can make it any size that you like. I just thought that that fit quite well onto this tabletop. So the other things that I'm going to use on it that I'm going to cover it with is 100% um, felt, sorry, 100% wool. So it's a felt that's 100% wool and I've got two pieces of that and then I've got a piece of cotton lining fabric there that I'm going to use as well. So the first thing that I've decided to do, and I've actually thought about this quite a lot, um, which type of fabrics I'm going to use, uh, if I'm going to use any wadding. And what I've decided is that I'm going to just use these two pieces of felt and the outer because I've got this foam here. But the way that I've decided to do it is that I've cut this first piece exactly the same size as my, um, my board here. So this just sits on there nicely okay and then I've got another piece of felt so same fabric got another piece of felt which is actually um, about five centimeters or two inches wider all the way around so if I turn it over you can see there's a section all the way around which is just a little bit wider so I'm just going to very carefully cut that, centralise that, okay, and then lay that down on top of it. Now, the reason that I've done it that way is that what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over these edges and I'm going to staple them in. And I decided to only have one piece to fold over and staple in because I was just a little bit concerned about the thickness. So that's why that piece under there is just the the size of the top so I've not got two pieces to fold over but I've still got the thickness of the felt so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to um, have a stapler and staple this in I'm going to take particular care over the corners and make sure the corners are tight and I'm going to pull it tight as I'm doing it right so I'm going to start here in the middle and put my first staple in. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So pull that tight and go either side. And pull that tight. So that looks really nice now. I'm happy with that. The corners look neat. That's what it looks like on the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this off so that there's a little bit less felt there. The reason that I'm doing that is when I when I put the next layer on, the white cotton, um, I want it to be able to sit right over this felt because I don't want to have to go through all the layers with the stapler. Okay. 
Okay, so I've got the finished um, cotton piece here that is hemmed, and I've positioned this centrally. And then the first staple that I've done is in the middle here, and then I've stapled on the opposite side there. So I've got the first two, first two pieces stapled in place. So if I look over there, just check that it looks okay there. I'm going to go ahead and start putting some more staples in this side. All four sides done now I'm going to do the same on the corners as I did with the felt it's finished I'm really happy with that and I'm not worried about it um, the staples ruining the tabletop because they're so far pushed in a nice surface for me to iron on it's really portable it's quite it's sturdy but um, it's lightweight enough for me to store it and then bring it here when I need to do my ironing so I'm really pleased with that but you need to see it in action so let's give it a little go Ooh lovely so i really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you've made your own tabletop ironing board cover and um, it is really practical and useful for you so thank you very much for joining me if you haven't already subscribed please do so and um, i've got lots more videos that i think you'll love so hop on over to the next one and i'll see you there thanks bye